Alright guys, it's Bob here again and uh, it's like something a little bit different for me this time. Um, now this is the quad lock mounting system, iPhone 6 bike kit, twist, lock and ride. Uh, so it tells you here what the kit includes, the bike mount, a poncho, which is like a, a splash cover, it's not actually waterproof but uh, certainly going to help keep the water off your device and an iPhone 6 case. Now it's got, I've uh, seen these quite a lot now, the little magnetic enclosures so you can have a quick look inside and have a look at what you're getting. Quick look around the box and uh, it shows you basically how it works. So cover your phone, install the bike mount, twist and lock and that is basically, uh, you know, that is essentially it. Now this shows you some different attachments that you can get. You've got one there for your arm, a car mount, a wall mount, and that's just an extra add-on that you can buy that goes, uh, that obviously you'll need an app for, will be a heart rate monitor. And basically that's uh, what it tells you. It tells you that it's uh, impact resistant, secure, strong and light. We'll start at the top. Just quad lock, that's just the uh, the logo for it. So let's open it up anyway and uh, have a look. Now, I've never used one of these myself. This is actually my brother's, so a thank you to him for uh, letting me uh, own, unbox this. Nothing else in the box. And let's have a look, see what we get. Right, so there's your actual uh, case. And you can see the, the mounting system on the back of it there. See what else is underneath here. Right, so we've got the uh, the locking device itself, and some bits and pieces for uh, attaching it to the bike. So let's have a look at this first. So, right now I've not used one of these, but uh, I recognise obviously these things because I've used these before. These can go brittle after time. I've never actually had one fail because I used to use these sort of fittings for. Um, speedos and what have you on a, a push bike but I haven't uh, used a push bike for quite some years now they can go brittle but I've never had one fail so if I were using this on a bike I think I'd be more likely to uh, give the zip ties a try actually and uh, zip tie it on so let's have a look so that looks that looks nice it's got that spring loaded lock there so obviously when you put that on your bike it'll be a case of you push down like that twist and that locks back up that is very secure I'm impressed with that actually very impressed with that that is so if you've got that absolutely rock solid onto your bike that is going nowhere trust me that is really solid so and it comes off really easy as well now apparently according to my brother this is this sort of spring loaded part only comes on this one on, on this particular mounting system. When you get to one of the other ones like the wall mount or anything like that you literally just put it in the twist and that's it, job done. But obviously because this is going onto a push bike where you're going to get vibrations and what have you. So it's literally, you just line it up like that, push down, twist and that springs back up and locks in. And that, that is solid. Very impressed with that actually. So let's uh, take that off and what we're going to do is another thank you goes out to my daughter for loaning me her iPhone 6 for this unbox because as you all know I have a 6 Plus so let's see now as I can gather, from what I can gather this is actually very tight fit it is quite snug actually, in fact that's very snug that's ooh. yeah that is really snug, that I tell you what that once your phone's in that, it's going nowhere, and I mean nowhere. So, uh, yeah, massive kudos to the firm for uh, for sorting that out. That's uh, right. So, now the other thing that I do know about this is that, uh, see, so you've got all them covered in around there. So that's good that everything's covered. So you can't charge it with that on. You can, however, charge it with that on. Everything's open there. So all those are open down on the bottom. That's all open. 
they're great you've got those rockers there and your power switch there so that's very yeah I'm, I'm really impressed with that actually so let's put this on anyway and see how that goes so that literally just slides in up there and then pops down over there which again is quite this is pretty snug so yeah I mean it's not waterproof um, but obviously when you're riding along the road and what have you that is going to stop uh, basically any rain from you know getting onto there sort of thing now something my brother did point out on this the touchscreen still works but uh, what doesn't work is your ID so that ID is not working at all I mean obviously mine wouldn't unlock this but you can see that there's no warning coming up saying try again which what which is what normally happens but that still works so that's that's all great and you need a little extra pressure through the poncho for pressing your buttons but obviously once this is on your bike it's going to be for map reading maybe a little music um, you know that sort of thing uh, or even or even your uh, heart rate monitors stats stuff like that you know uh, you could end some everything so I mean you know it's uh, yeah I mean that's a that's a really nice uh, bit of kit so just take it off again see how easy it is to come off Ooh. yeah that's uh, I mean the thing is you're gonna think well yeah it's, it's extremely tough to get on and off but to me when you've got a piece of equipment this expensive clamped to the top of a push bike that you're vibrating down the street uh, I want it to be tight on I want it to be very tight on so uh, yeah but I'm really impressed with the way this uh, this connects on very unique I do like that and it is absolutely rock solid I mean the back of this case is pretty tough it's only the edges here where it's uh, sort of thinned out and rubberized a bit to allow you to get it onto the phone so um, yeah I mean I will get all the links together now I, I know my brother got this off the website so whether you could get it any cheaper from eBay or anything like that I think he paid around about £40 now designed in Australia but I do know that it came from a UK address to him so I will check into it all get all the links put them underneath because I deliberately didn't do any homework on this I wanted to sort of come into it as a as a noob sort of <laughs> way of looking at it um, and uh, yeah I'll put all the links underneath so you can uh, go and have a look but it's uh, Annex Products yeah Annex Products all rights reserved uh, made in China but uh, there you go guys I mean uh, you know let me know what you think about it underneath I'm, I'm really impressed. I mean, that's got that nice rubberized bit there, so it's not going to damage any part of your bike. So I think it's all going to come down to how tight you get that onto your bike. So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments underneath, and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers, guys. See you.